Well, Sam, congratulations on a, a signing a four-year contract here at Southampton Football Club. I know you've, you've signed previous uh, contracts before, but this must have been the one you've been working towards. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's a, a milestone for me. It's something I've been aiming for over recent years. Um, and it's um, been, been talked about and it's been something I've been aiming for for a while. Um, to, finally get to finally get pen to paper and to have it signed and it's um, just a dream come true now. Um, four years is, is more than I could have hoped for. Um, so now it's just a case of if it's signed, it's to get my head down and start working straight away as soon as possible. And you'll be, uh, of course, in there with a few familiar faces, the likes of James Ward-Prowse, Luke Shaw, Callum Chambers, Harrison Reid. Uh, the list perhaps goes on, but it would be reassuring to, to have a few familiar faces around you in the first team picture. Yeah, totally. Um, of course, I've known them since I was young. We've all come through together. Um, so we are good friends. We've uh, played football together and worked together a lot, um, so we all get on well. Um, but more than that, I mean, I've been around the first team towards the end of last season, um, so I know a few of them and I've talked to a few of them and it's... They're all friendly, so I'm just looking forward to hopefully trying to be around them as much as possible um, in coming years, and I'm, I'm sure it'll be something to look forward to. People will be wondering where this conveyor belt of talent will end. Are, are there any other names coming through, do you think, at the moment, or is it too early to say? Um, no, it's not too early to say. It's, it's, it's Southampton is what they do. They've, they've always produced young players, as everyone knows. Um, and of course, there's going to be more coming through. I mean, there's, there's players even the year below me, or in my year, even Don Gape is another player our age who's come through with us, and I think he's... He could be another one to come through. He's, he's been playing really well. Um, Matt Target and Jason McCarthy as well in the year below. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's still going to be more coming through, I believe. Um, and it's just encouraging when, when the next one takes step up and the next one, it's, um, it's just going to keep going, I think. So, um, all positive things for us. Well, let's get back to you, of course. I mean, is it fair to say that the, this news may have happened a little bit earlier if it hadn't been for an injury sustained last year, quite a long term one? Um, I can't say really. Um, all I could do was just focus on myself. The injury was obviously, obviously devastating for me, and I was out for a long while. But um, I, I believe personally, I've worked really hard for this um, to get back from my injury, um, and it was tough. But family and friends around me, and the club have been amazing support with sort of physio staff and coaches. Um, so everyone's worked hard for it, and to to finally get get it is is what I think I deserve, and hopefully I can I can earn more and, and push on and, and get more as well. For those who perhaps don't know so much, um, how would you describe your own your own playing style? Uh, my own playing style. Um, well, I, I like to think of myself as a goal scorer. Um, try to score goals. Uh, we'll see what happens next season. Um, player I compare myself to. I'd like to think of myself as a sort of Urzil, um, create play or um, and um, be be creative and make things happen um, and especially a player like Adam Lana, someone I've looked up to and, and tried to look at him on the training pitch and um, and see what he's about and notice little things about his game as things I've tried to pick up on and um, and learn off him because that's the sort of style and the player that I want to be. And you say you would have worked with players like him in the first team towards the end of last season. Are they already given you a few gems to, to sort of take with you into next year? Um, yeah, definitely. Just just working with them little bits here and there is has been amazing um, and I've learned a lot off, off those players. And... Um, just looking forward to learning even more and just, just trying to improve myself more and more as time goes on. And of course, we get on to Lalana as well. You replaced him in the FA Cup quarter final last season, making your first team debut uh, for the club. Was it a bit surreal seeing the, the number 45 up there before the game and seeing um, your name? Yeah, it was, it, was, it was amazing. It was something I didn't expect to happen so soon. Um, something I was just honoured to happen as well, especially being from Southampton and playing from such a young age. It's it was amazing for me to represent the city that I was born in and that I love. Um, so yeah, it was it was it was surreal, as you say, um, and to replace Adam as well was was an honour. So yeah, it was, it was an amazing experience. And you drop back into the the twenty one setup just to keep your fitness going. I imagine towards the end of last season, um, how did that go? You, you seem to got a, a bit of regular game time under Martin Hunter. And what sort of words of encouragement did did he give to you? Um, yeah, I, I was with the 21s um, towards the end of last season, um, playing games regularly, getting a lot of game time. Um, it was uh, it was a case of trying to get my fitness up as much as possible. Um, I think that's where I needed to be, and that's where I, I, I should have been. Um, it was a good standard as well. 21s is a great standard um, of football, so um, it was good to be with with my friends as well, playing and working hard. And Martin encouraged me a lot and helped me a lot, giving me sort of little bits of advice and helping me to improve um, and it's, it's still it's still got a long way to go to get myself into that first team regularly um, but it is something I'm aiming for, something I believe that I can do if I keep working.
working hard. And we'll, we'll push towards this time in 12 months then and what you hope to have achieved in that time. Um, any particular numbers or, or targets in mind at this moment? Um, not numbers, no. I don't have any figures in my head, but I've been speaking uh, just recently to parents about, about setting targets for the next 12 months and things. Um, it's nice to have the reassurance of a, of a four-year contract and have that stability, but in my own mind, I wanted to push on as quick as I can, like you say, work, work hard from now on. Um, so in the 12 months, it's just to get my face in and around the first few as much as possible um, and just to try and make some appearances if I can in, in, in cup games or league games. Um, and there's not going to be a sort of limit to what I think I could do. It's just going to be a case of pushing on, working hard and doing whatever, whatever comes in front of me, just attack it. Sam, we wish you well. Congratulations. You Cheers. It's a fantastic feeling. And uh, after the first day that I met uh, Les Reed and we spoke about this possibility, no, I was, I was happy, I was impressed. Uh